Aquarius, welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be a reading going from the 12th through to the 19th of December. How's life treating you? Have you seen those collective readings and the monthly readings on this channel? Loads of things going on in this channel. It's going to be an amazing Christmas and New Year. It's going to be so much fun. Let's just jump straight in here um, on your overall energies on the Astro Flower. That's on petal six. Let's just see how that's radiating through you. It's sh it sh sureness, so security, so confidence, but it's not confidence, it's more sort of feeling sure about your scenario, feeling ready for anything coming up, uh, just feeling, yeah, feeling very sure. I think it's you're getting a very clear vision of how you want life to be. It's really coming into place here for you to manifest what you want to be living in the going future. You're in your autumn period. It's going to be a lot of that sifting through what happened over the last year, what you want to be going on for the new year. It's going to be quite amazing. Um, let's just see what's going on on your relationship side. Here's your karmic message for this week in regards to your relationships. It was it once a wise man said nothing at all? You know, it's like it's. I, I have a phrase that says, "The you know, the person who knows knows they know nothing the moment they know." It's like you go through a door and there's all of a sudden there's a whole new room or a whole new landscape that needs to be explored. But as you're going through this door, it's almost as if you're going through this door, kind of going. I am prepared, I am ready, um, and it's that confidence, I think, is going to be, you're going to be listening, uh, listening to the relationships that are around you, rather than actually getting involved in it. Uh, this could mean, you you know, uh, if, if, you're, if you're being honest with yourself, and the confidence that you're springing up in yourself, yet for some of you, it could well be a situation where kind of going, do you know what, next year, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. And it's having that confidence to actually say that to the person opposite you. But you've got to be sure, you've got to have it going through you, you've got to know where you want to go in the future, that security has got to come in with you. If not, if, it, if that's not the scenario with you, I think it's a case of, for other people, I think it's more of a case where you're going to be, I think you're going to be dealing with other people's emotional stress. This is why you're going to be, you know, you can sit back, relax and listen to the heartache of others. And that's what it seems like for the majority of you. I think that's what it's going to be. For some of you, it's got to be, okay, now it's got to be a realisation that this relationship is detrimental to me and I need to walk away from it one way or another. But for the general others, I think it's a case of you listening to other people's heartache. Let's just see how the universe is trying to guide. They've got these soft waves coming in, but they're very constant. They're very solid waves. So they're, they're trying to re reduce the emotional peaks and troughs out of the situation to be a lot more confident when you've got that solidness of that, all that water behind you. I think, I'm, I think, I think, I think every, every fixed sign got this card either in this position or this position. I think, I think one may have got it over here. You'll be able to see maybe on the Sunday on the all round up as well as the, uh, we're going to be doing as well. The, uh, collective, 2023 reading on Sunday so you're going to want to be here for that so here is like the universe is, is sort of like it's giving you that constant of sort of saying yeah it's good to dream it's good to have your head and head in the clouds be a bit deconnected to the everything that is around you and if you're going to be listening to people and their heartaches I would be sure with that I would you know take time out to literally see the wonders of the world and realize that miracles happen every single day Open yourself up to possibilities. If you're going through a difficult relationship, have that message in mind. Uh, miracles happen every day, and they are. There may be one waiting for you just around the corner. Okay, 
um, and keeping that positive vibe going, I think, within you. Okay, uh, let's just see how the um, how the guides are trying to influence this karmic message. <clears throat> I think with the coincidences here, they're giving you a constant. So they're not putting you under pressure in regards to your relationships. And they're giving you a con con uh, constant, which is going to allow you to open up those um, confidences that you can have in the situation and feel reassured by your sort of situation. Yeah. So um, it's recognizing the the evident path in front of you. So this is coming back to this autumn period, which you are going through at the moment. It's realizing what you want to live in the coming year, in 2023, after your birthday. And there may be many choices around you, but if you really take the time to, you know, the time and the space and the meditation and take the time out to examine what's going on around you, it's going to be evident what sort of direction you should be going in. And this could be relation in relation to uh, a, a relationship that is not really working, that is maybe uh, causing you a bit of pain, or maybe even causing your partner or the other person a bit of pain. Um, and the guides here don't want you to dilly-dally on your choices. They don't want you to waste your time. They do want you to... Um, they do want you to see your evident path. And I think this is where the coincidence is going to help you out to see that clearly. Let's just see um, how the guides are trying to influence this conversation that is within you. They're keeping it very simple. So sometimes a word can be as much as you need to say rather than, you know, going around the houses. So um, uh, it's sort of not having to justify yourself, basically. I think this is within you uh, this week. Yeah, the Emperor, uh, which also came out in Leo, funnily enough, as well, in that sort of um, position, this sort of side of things, I think. Um, yeah, being that Emperor, being... I think this is ties into this sort of section here with this Three of Swords and the High Priestess as well. It's a case where you're going to be sitting there confident within your new surroundings. You've created that empire. You are now the emperor of your domain. Um, and it's now a situation where I want to now project that into the new world going forward uh, and into the year 2023. So um, within your relationships, I think it's a case of being there. At some point, you've got to bite the bullet. You've got to realize that um, you know, that uh, you can be confident in where you're going uh, if, if, you're, if you're coming from a good place. If you're not, that's what you need to sort out. Start dreaming a bit, asking for miracles, realising that, that you do have an evident path and stop procrastinating and then get on and do it and apply it, basically. So that's the two sort of scenarios for the relationship side. Let's just see what's going on on your financial sort of side. The karmic message here is this is building. This is like um, this is building that tower up. So you this twenty twenty two may have been may have created a lot of situations that were a bit difficult to deal with, but now you're in a situation where you've got a lot of space. You're building very, very solid foundations going forward. King of Cups, completing that control over your emotions in the situation, which is really good for you, but for good for everybody that is around you. But it is creating plain sailing. You're feeling very confident going forward, or you should be within your job. If you're looking for a job, you need to go to into that job interview or application for that job interview with just your emotions under control, you know what you want, and you, that's what you're going to get. If you go in with that attitude there, you, you're going to stand a really good chance of it coming off of you. Um, let's just see how the universe is trying to influence this karmic message.
They're getting you into a rhythm, basically. The universe is kind of constantly feeding your fire. Uh, they're going to be constantly feeding your passions, feeding your progression going forward. <laughs> Knight of Wands. So, yeah, it's constant. It's that rhythmical sort of thing that we're talking about here. You know, um, some beautiful crossovers that are going straight through here from the from the Knight of Wands going through to the Emperor there. Uh, using your intuitions with having control over your emotions is going to provide you to be in the position uh, within your relationships around you. You're, you're going to really feel like you, you're, you're on top of the world or you feel like you're really confident in what you're doing, basically. Uh, let's just see how the guides are trying to influence this karmic message. As you build on those foundations that I was talking about earlier on, um, you are going to see offshoots and opportunities that are going to come from that. So basically, if you're if you've got you you know if you've landed yourself a job, you're going to realise that yeah, this actually could open up doors. Say like in uh, an avenue of I don't know design or uh, photography that you enjoy. Say like if you took a job on as a as an, you know, you became an estate agent, you know, selling houses, uh, uh, real estate agent. Um, you know, if you start doing that, then obviously then you can get into the photographs, taking the photographs of the house and stuff like that. There's offshoots in your work or in your business or in your projects that are going to provide a lot of happiness and fun for you, I think, and give you a lot of clear thinking <laughs> going forward. You're going to have the wind at your back. Um, she's got her heart under control here. You can see this here in the bottom left here in that, that part there. She's got her heart under control. She knows where she's going. She knows what she's doing. Uh, it's the same thing with the King of Cups. He's got everything under control. Uh, the, she's got the wind at her back, so it's moving forward, moving on. You've got the King of Pentacles underneath. There's a real moment, a regal moment coming through your life at the moment. It seems like you've approached things in a really good way that's going to be very, very beneficial for you going forward in time. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see that this week, but you're definitely going to have that anticipation from it, uh, from the energy. They, that's the energy, overall energy has got that anticipation for you. Let's just see what the um, how the guides are trying to influence this conversation that is within you. Be careful of taking on too much. Be careful of trying to uh, carry the world upon your shoulders, basically. Um, I would allow things to grow gently and naturally around you rather than trying to force things or trying to carry too much, basically. Just carry too much upon your shoulders. Uh, ten of Wands, you can't really say more than that. It, I think you've got to recognise that that's got to come to an end. If, you, if, you, if, you, if you're looking for that, if you look at the cross section here, uh, going from this page of cups to the three of swords, your intuition from this of what is causing you pain out of this is uh, in your life is through this new job, through this new adventures that you're going on, or through this um, uh, progression in your life, you've got to um, uh, let go of the emotions and let go of trying to carry everything and everyone uh on your shoulders basically um let's just see what the overall outcome is for you there's planning there's planning there's planning there's planning i think this is tied into those offshoots as well I think there's a lot going on within your business, within your relationships as well. I think it's going to bring people in, which is going to open doors for you. Um, it's recognizing these offshoots and recognizing these, these these possible routes that you can take going forward. Yeah, an expression of yourself. I think um, it's going to be in a position. You're going to be in a position where if you do offload that weight that you carry around the world. You can express your way of doing things. And I think it's going to be very, 
um, precise, organized, religious in a way, uh, the way things you put things into place, the way you put your morals into place, the way you put your money into place, the way you put your passions in there and your and your emotions. I think it's going to be an expression by the end of the week. It's going to be clear how you can express that to the outside world um, going forward as you get closer to your birthday, which is going to help you to manifest the, you know, the, the future that you so desire. This is one piece of the jigsaw here you finding the place of where it fits in the jigsaw of your pathway so um there you go aquarius uh thank you very much for being here with us there's going to be loads going on on this channel over the christmas period so you're going to want to subscribe and click that bell i know you want to and this weekend you've got the uh 23 reading 20 year 23 readings coming out the collective on sunday and your sign on a monday um, and uh, you're also going to have uh, the um, weekly roundups as well, which uh, should be interesting. There's, as I say, there's loads going on in this channel. Really excited about it. I can't explain too much about it at the moment because we're still in the development stage. Uh, but in the next two weeks, make sure you're following us on all social media outlets: Twitter, uh, Instagram, uh, Tik. We're going to be on TikTok as well. So loads of things. So. You know, please do get involved when you can. It'd be lovely to have you and lovely to see you here. Thank you very much for your support for this channel. In the meantime, Aquarius, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.